Well, it's 5.30 in the morning, and what are we doing today? We're making the push north of the Atlantic up towards New York City. Yo ho ho in a bottle of rum, hoist the mainsail, here I come. Ain't no room on board for the incense. So we've been waiting for a weather window a little bit, making our way as far as Cape May, New Jersey. And uh, now we're faced with what should be probably a three day trip, uh, <laughs> but we have a one day weather window, maybe one and a half. And uh, so uh, yesterday the waves were supposed to be three feet and uh, we had a couple buddy boats that went out in it and they were uh, shaken. They made it safely, but they were shaken. And Atlantic to Atlantic City, um, which is step one of the, the three hops. Um, today, the waves are supposed to be less, so two foot instead of three, and about seven second uh, period, which is, I think, what we're seeing about uh, these two foot swells. We're kind of going up, we're going down. The sun is now above the horizon. Um, so it, it's probably about the best that you get on the Atlantic uh, this time of year. And, I did it again. And yeah, you did it again. Um, but the question we have is how far do we make it today? Uh, because uh, the Jersey Shore is not really forgiving as far as hidey holes for bad weather. So, I mean, especially up north, I mean, you got to make a decision and then it adds three, three and a half hours to your day. Yeah. So the stretch goal would be Sandy Hook, which puts us safely uh, in a protected anchorage and within a quick uh, ride of New York Harbor, uh, where we're going to anchor behind Lady Liberty. But that's a long day. Uh, it, uh, it's a long day. So uh, we'll see how far we get. Uh, right now, these conditions are completely tolerable. We can do this for 12 or 14 hours. We may run out of daylight uh, and that's a concern. Uh, but right now there are tons of boats doing this trip. There's half a dozen ahead of us and more coming out the jetty behind us. So uh, we'll have lots of company out here today uh, and hopefully a nice safe day. Uh, we'll check in a little bit later and let you know how it's going. Cheers. Cheers. It is 9.15 and uh, surprisingly the seas have even laid down even more than when we left. So it was a little bit uh, rolly just leaving Cape May, uh, but we're here. That is Atlantic City uh, off our port side and it is pretty smooth. Uh, the Atlantic has a different kind of character uh, than a lot of the waters that we have been through. These swells tend to be very periodic. Today it's every seven seconds. But they, they're really big swells. And so it's just a little bit different of a thing to deal with than we've seen even in the Bahamas and other uh, big blue water. So. Yeah, even though it's calm, um, Seth is feeling yucky for really the first time on this trip. Yeah, I don't usually get seasick at all. Part of it was we got such an early start we that I didn't want to eat breakfast. <laughs> and so it was just coffee in my belly. So feeling better now. It's uh, 9.15 in the morning. And uh, we'll probably have some more loopers join us from Atlantic City that have yeah. slept in that are heading <laughs> uh, north to New York yeah. as well. The, the most unexpected thing so far is that we're at Atlantic City and we're still seeing dolphins. Yeah, we just saw dolphins uh, right out here. and. That's pretty incredible. So um, it'll be sad when we see our last dolphin as we it's turn into today. fresh water. It'll probably be today. Uh, all right. Cheers. Cheers. Two o'clock, and uh, seas 
these are the same, just a little bit rolly, but uh, really not anything to complain about. I think maybe improved, yeah. And the sun has come out. It, we have a little bit of marine haze on the water, but it's uh, pretty clear. It's a perfect temperature. Perfect temperature, beautiful day. Uh, almost everybody's going faster than us. So everybody, not almost everybody. Somebody's, uh, well, some, some, some of the early mornings are starting to arrive in uh, New York City. Uh, we are on track to at least make Sandy Hook, maybe even uh, into New York Harbor to uh, Liberty Landing behind the Statue of Liberty. So uh, stay tuned, we'll see how that goes. But uh, the boat's performing well, uh, the crew is performing well, and uh, we're all doing great. Cheers. Well, it's four o'clock. Uh, Madeline has had a shift at the helm here, uh, about the same conditions. We're just marching right along. We've got, uh, oh, at least another four hours to go, maybe five. Um, four is what we're shooting for. Uh, we want to get in by sundown, so uh, we may pick up the pace just a little bit. Uh, some loopers that are ahead of us said that they got a little bit of a tailwind and a little bit of uh, smoother seas as they approach. So uh, we're hoping for the same. Cheers. Six o'clock, uh, Mason's on shift. Uh, we see the New York skyline forming ahead of us, uh, but we also see some dark clouds forming uh, off to our port side. So uh, we got uh, about an hour and 45 minutes left until we get to our anchorage. Uh, we just passed the tip of Sandy Hook here, uh, which means we have made our stretch goal. And actually we're gonna go a little bit further because we don't like the look of the storm for uh, an early morning departure to get into New York Harbor. And so we are gonna scoot across the harbor and anchor behind the Statue of Liberty tonight. Cheers.
Well, we did not finish our story. Uh, it was a 15 hour day yesterday and we finally got in and uh, we tried to drop anchor right behind the Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island. And there were a bunch of other loopers back there uh, and other boats, not a bunch, well, a, half, half a dozen, half a dozen mm -hmm. uh, that had successfully anchored. And so we thought, hey, no, no problem. problem, we got this. And it took us five or six tries and we hooked a huge log, log uh, uh, like a beam that was uh, on the bottom and we couldn't get it dislodged from our anchor. Mm -hmm. And so a uh, fellow looper dingied over graciously and uh, dislodged it. So we were able to, to drop anchor and get good holding and enjoy the statue, but we didn't film any of it because- uh, It was well after sunset. Yeah. Um, and it was right after we passed through a storm. Yeah, so we got the storm and then, yeah. So we were exhausted, so sorry we didn't get you the real time. Yeah. Uh, but that's how the story ended. We we had a nice night anchored behind the statue. It was, it, it was delightful. And then we moved on to Liberty Landing uh, the next uh, uh, mid-morning uh, after enjoying the sun come up over the city and after seeing more of, or of uh, uh, Lady Liberty. So yeah, thank you for joining us for a very long day on our open Atlantic crossing from Cape May into uh, New York City. Cheers. Cheers.